one of the member allotted to this unit. We are under the supervision and guidance of our honorable CEO, Dr. M. Suresh Kumar sir, and our managing director, Dr. S. Dhruva sir, and our Dr. S. Ramesh Babu sir. Agobar unit is the commercial production of economically viable microbials. In this unit, we produce the Dicoderma gridi and Sodoma Zipolysis, Azella and Mushrooms too. The main aim of this unit is to produce and supply of the quality of the microbials to the farmers. And this helps to the farmers like uh, to re reduce the disease re incidence to the plants and uh, chemical fertilizer uses. Production of the microbials depend upon the mass multiplication of microorganisms. Preparation of the subcultures from the pure culture, which in turn are produced from the mother culture, serve the purpose. The prepared subcultures are then used for inoculation. Trichoderma subcultures prepared in PDA media, which is potato dextrose agar media, are inoculated in PD broth, which is potato infusion dextrose dissolved in 1 litre of water. Pseudomonas subcultures prepared in nutrient agar media are inoculated in broth prepared by adding peptone, beef extract, yeast extract and NaCl in 1 litre of water. After this process, the subcultures are left to multiplicate for 5 days and 2 days for trichoderma and pseudomonas respectively. And then the resultant broth is mixed with talc at 1 is to 3 ratio, allowed to dry and then crushed and sieved to form powdered trichoderma and pseudomonas. Oyster mushroom production needs the chopped and sterilized straw, which is packed in polythene covers arranged in layers with the spawn. The bags are kept in cool and dark room. After 20 to 25 days, sprouting initiates, which in turn develops into matured mushroom within two days and are then harvested by twisting. Trigoderma eradicates root rot disease, damping off, wilt and fruit rot. Pseudomonas prevents blast in rice, a major crop here. They are environmental friendly. Azala is a nitrogen fixing aquatic fern. It needs a stagnated water for growth with 200 grams tongue, 10 grams SSP dissolved to provide nutrition for growth. After the growth, it's harvested and can be broadcasted in rice fields.